Hey everyone, I'm Jamie. And I'm Julian. I've been a full stack developer for many years now working with GraphQL, and I'm really excited to share with you this new course that we've been working on that teaches you how to use GraphQL. Yeah, yeah well, I'm also a full stack developer, and uh, I guess you could say I'm a GraphQL developer since 2018. So yeah, we're really excited about sharing what we've learned uh, after all these years with you. Yeah, I really enjoyed creating this course. This is something I think anybody who is new to GraphQL can just come and join and follow along and build a real world application. Like, um, you know, we're gonna build an e-commerce store. We're gonna build the API that powers that. We're gonna build the front end. So we're gonna be using GraphQL on the front end and on the back end. And then we're gonna be kind of deploying all of that and working with the actual real production database. So we're covering quite a lot, right? Um, yeah, yeah, I just love that uh, it covers a lot of the services that you also need for a production e-commerce application, right? It's not just uh, front end, back end, but you also have Stripe uh, integrated. We talk about how to handle databases and we're using like really uh, cool tech that uh, I would recommend to use like in a real world application. So I think it's very, very yeah, production ready. Yeah, and if we just kind of take a look at the curriculum on the website, oneweekgraphql.com, for the back end, you can build a GraphQL server with something called GraphQL Yoga. We'll be using an ORM called Prisma. Um, and a bit of, inside of the application, we use a mixture of kind of uh, server-side rendering, static, st you know, building pages statically, which is massively uh, popular. Um, we're using even something called Docker to kind of run a local database, which is cool. And we're using MySQL. Um, and then of course we're using service functions um, to actually serve our GraphQL API. And then we're using webhooks to kind of trigger um, additional things that happen with Stripe. We listen for orders and then we can kind of mark that as paid and um, and whatever. So that's really cool from a backend point of view. Um, and on the front end and gen GraphQL in general, what is it that we're doing that you think is really cool? Um, because you worked a lot on this front end of the course as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's really cool that uh, our front end is like super well connected to the to the back end, mainly thanks to GraphQL. GraphQL just makes building front ends uh, a joy. Um, everything's just so easy to write a, a query to get some data, write some mutations to to update our back end. And I really like how we're using GraphQL called Gen to glue everything together it makes for a really really great uh, developer experience and also yeah tailwind apollo client i just uh, think uh, not to mention react right uh, everything's really well put together and it's a joy to to develop in so this is the storefront that we are going to be building um you can follow along at demo.1weekgraphql.com and this is a simple storefront using next.js and all the different tools we've just talked about and we can kind of scroll through here. We can see a product that we like. Let's uh, let you know. Let's pick this this top here, and then we go to this product uh, display page. So we kind of show how to build that, and using Next.js, we create these um, routes to statically build these pages. And then the actual magic of all of this is this add to cart, right? We click that. It will then add that to the cart, and uh, we can kind of navigate around. We can choose different products and add those to the cart. And we'll just add a few here. Um, we'll add a third one. Now, if we go to the cart, we've got a cart of all of our products that we've just added, which is really cool. Um, and we can even go as far as update these as well. So we teach how to do that in the course as well, how you can add. And um, if we remove these items, um, we can do that as well. So there's tons of different content that we're covering for this part. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's a really robust application, but it's also very easily customizable. You, you, it's, it's, we made it so you can change the products and the, so that you can connect it to your own stuff. And I also love how, even though the end result is simple, uh, we invested many hours in making it as simple as possible. So I, I think that's also really a great, uh, return of our investment right the, that it looks so simple i love that yeah anybody can take this and just get in a kind of get going with it which is really cool um let's just show the checkout bit so what actually happens at this point is we send a we use a graphql mutation to 
go to Stripe, create a checkout uh, session, then we get back from GraphQL a URL, then we forward our Next.js application to this Stripe endpoint that they give you through their API and their SDK. So um, I will just go ahead and enter my email here and we'll use a test card from Stripe. And then um, we can continue through this process. And imagine this is your customer. Like you can see here, when we added products from our site, we added all of the product details. We added the name, the quantity from the card, the description, and even that image. And we've obviously got the total here. And it's really cool. I'm kind of able to integrate something that we build throughout this tutorial with a third party API without having to do a lot of code. Like this is just all of the SDKs and tools that we use are really intuitive. Um, but I really love the Stripe checkout experience. So let's finish this up. Um, I don't know if that's a valid postcode, but uh, let's go for it. Um, we'll pay. And talk to me about what's happened at this point, Julian. Um, what's actually going on under the hood here? Because you worked a, a lot on this part. <laughs> yeah, first of all, the most important thing is that that is a test mode. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm glad we're not buying like test products. But yeah, yeah, when you connect with Stripe, you need to be sure you set up a success URL and a callback URL and to just so that for the users, it's a complete experience, right? So in, in that case, you we created like a session with our payment. And then when the when the users go back to the site, they, they can see what they paid for and we can make sure we fulfill that order, right? So we'll we'll teach you how to handle that from the yeah, from the commerce uh, store creator uh, aspect. So I, I, I think it's really cool and it makes for a for a great experience. Yeah, Stripe's just great, right? It's just a, also a joy to to work with. Yeah, yeah, it really is. So let's dive on over to Stripe. Um, and here we can see if I refresh the page, I have this end, this webhook endpoint. And this is always kind of listening for requests. And when we create an order with Stripe, it kind of triggers a, uh, a webhook here. So if we click on this, we can actually see a bit more information about the actual request that happened. So we've added products to a cart um, and we get all of that data in here. So you can see here, this is the, the email that I just entered, the postcode. Um, of course, if this is a real world application, you wanna start shipping products, you would tell Stripe, okay, I wanna accept shipping information. And we'll, co we'll cover that in the video, how you can kind of add that stuff. Um, but yeah, you can add kind of all of the shipping information so your customers um, can receive the goods that you buy. Um, so this webhook, this allows us to then update the API on our end that we have an order. So we can then track that that order is successful. Um, so that's really cool. Um, and then if we go to the payments within here and we go to the list, we can see here that we have that order, $260. That yeah, I use a test card. I'm not uh, going to be <laughs> spending this for a demo. Um, but yeah, we can see everything here about the order again. We see the customer, um, what the payment method was, where it's to be delivered to, um, you know, and the items itself, which is really cool. And Stripe, I think Stripe takes a copy of these images. So if you ever change your images in the future, you've kind of got some audit there, um, you know, five years down the line, that image should still yeah. be there from Stripe, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. It's kind of a full end-to-end -end experience, buying something and we build everything and we teach everything on this website. So yeah, I'm really excited um, for people to take this course and learn a lot more about GraphQL and building a real world application. Yeah, it was really fun and, and, and also a learning experience to build this with you, Jamie. So I'm sure this will also be a great resource for everyone to check out. Uh, we, we distilled it, we, we, break, we break it down in several small parts. So I, I'm sure it's gonna be useful and we're gonna be here to, to support you as well in your learning journey. Yeah, I learned a ton building this with you as well. And I think um, we'll continue to update this. And if anybody has any questions or suggestions, feel free to let us let us know. Um, we will be open sourcing all of the code that you see. So, you know, you can dive in and make any tweaks that you want. Um, but yeah, head on over to oneweekgraphql.com and click to stream the course for free to learn all about GraphQL. And this should, this, 
this this didn't take us long to kind of build, right? So someone should be able to build and follow along with in less than a week um, and master all of the tools. Would you agree? Yeah, for sure. It's 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 going to be a, a a learning a week full of learnings, right? So, but yeah, yeah, it's it's great, and it takes you from zero to this fully fleshed, full stack uh, e-commerce. So it's going to be worth it. Yeah, totally. Well, awesome. Enjoy the course and have fun. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Learn, have fun. And yeah, it's been a pleasure.